Greetings, RV users. One take, what could I back for the third installment of the underbelly and beyond? Here we go. We're in the underbelly. We uh, got it under control. We, we dropped it all. Let's drop it all. Dropped it all the way. There's the front. It's me underneath. That's the back. There. Come back around. Just gonna look here. Show you what we're looking at here. Whip you around. <laughs> Bad videotography, but it is one take walk. All right, so here we are. That is the front skirts all the way down. I didn't pull the skirting out from underneath because it's just me. It's kind of a two percent job. I don't want to rip it and wreck stuff. Uh, but what am I here for? This thing right here. This black tank, not the heater. This is the heat heater. Keeps my hot water tanks or my cold fresh water tanks from freezing. And then uh, what I'm here for is this. That used to be riveted up there. And it's not. Nor is the other one. And the only reason it wasn't all over the ground is because they have these things wedged in here on these angle irons here. See, it's just kind of sitting here in here. And they put these little things to keep it from slopping around. Uh, but it bulged down now This design is very interesting and since it's got two little things now. Let me show you This is extremely flexible uh, and in fact I don't know If you can see that or not, but there's water in there not a lot there's Maybe you know half a gallon not even uh, in there and uh, But I just pushed up and pushed down and pushed up and pushed down and pulled out about five gallons of water that was never gonna come out of this valve right there that's on the side that the water pump sucks the water out of the side. So, you know, they tell you you got 78 gallons. Let me tell you, you got about 40. Nah, that's not true. All right, 60. Um, so, for the next installment, we'll be repairing these, replacing these with some kind of, well, I don't know yet. We'll have to get back to you. One take, what can I out?